he really took me under his own wing and taught me all the things that I needed to know as the first lieutenant on board. He basically showed me everything from paperwork to small boat driving to big boat driving. He's just a motivational person, to be honest. He, uh, he's out there uh, turning to with the guys on a daily basis. It's not uncommon to see him out on deck uh, teaching, teaching the junior bosun mates you know, how, how to do things properly or uh, taking care of a family situation. Just a, a real great guy. Uh, you know, and, and he's constantly here working hard. Uh, he stays late just to get the job done. Um, so we're just a real great guy. Uh, my job's pretty diverse, you know. I'm, uh, I'm the direct representative of the commanding officer. Uh, in a sense, I'm kind of his right-hand man. Um, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a sounding board for the crew uh, and their families. Um, and I also have a lot of collateral duty jobs, boarding officer, uh, underway OD, uh, small boat coxswain, and, and, and I wear a lot of hats, so those are just a few. Chief Carter contributes to the cutter in, in just in so many ways. You know, I, I, I could spend all day listing them off. Um, operationally, he's up here driving the ship. He's a small boat coxswain. He's a boarding officer. Uh, if we're doing an operation, he's involved. Um, he, you know, he's my he's my right hand man. He's got you know great judgment. He's there to back me up when we make decisions. Uh, you know, he always has a safety conscious uh, mentality. So we're making sure we're doing things right. Um, just just all around all around great support. Like I said, you know, he's mentoring the crew. He's taking care of them. Um, and that's what I really need in my, uh, my executive officer. So, Chief Carter, is a, he's, a, he's a real role model here. He, um, he leads by, by, um, by example. He leads by example. He, he's always the first guy out there in work projects. He, uh, he doesn't just tell you to go do something. He'll be out there scrubbing the sides of our hole, usually which is set for lower paid individuals. He'll be out there helping us out. He, uh, he always likes to get a hand in things, which other members see that, and junior members jump in as well. So he really sets the example uh, really well on board Coast Guard Cutter Blackhead. My role as a mentor and a leader on board is, uh, you know, I, I kind of have that philosophy, monkey see, monkey do. So, you know, I, tr I try to, I try to, uh, try to paint a big, a good picture for these younger guys. Uh, that's probably one of the most rewarding things I do on board. I, you know, I love to teach, I love to train, so anytime I can share my experiences or share my knowledge, uh, I, I really, really enjoy that. Chief Carter, uh, I, I have plenty of sea stories I could tell you about all the great things he's done for the cutter, whether it's a search and rescue case at night where he's done a brilliant job uh, hooking up the tow in foul weather or uh, helping medevac somebody or going out and doing boardings and uh, uncovering, you know, uh, criminal activity. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just everything that he does on board that just makes him such a well-rounded person. He's a great family man uh, for you know his wife Danielle, uh, his daughter Madison, and son Caden. Uh, just just so well-rounded. He just makes me you know really proud to work with him. Just for me, it's just enjoyment. You know, I love getting up, coming to work, uh, taking the boat out, uh, and helping people, and and uh, just being out. Uh, I'm not one to to sit on a desk and uh, you know all the time, but. Uh, it, I really, really enjoy it and I love the missions of the Coast Guard. That's why, that's why I'm still doing it 14 years later. Please welcome tonight's awardee of the Admiral James S. Gracie Award for Professional Excellence, Chief Seth Carter of the Coast Guard Cutter Blackfin.